Alright, Shalom, Shalom, my brother Kadash, starting off by giving praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's deal with this, the comment board. You know, this was a um, rebuke video to the elder. <coughs> we gotta um, spare not. It says rebuke out loud. And it says, let me see. And it says spare not. You know what I mean? Don't spare him based on his age. Don't spare him best based on his rate. You gotta rebuke out loud. You see him going off? You, I made a rebuke video about it, you know, he deleted it because he don't want to deal with it because he got respect And these guys got respect of persons, but we ain't even gonna get into that. So let's just deal with um, I guess it's you three nine three thousand <laughs> you three nine nine five right at you three nine nine five right so he he comes on the comment board and I want to deal with some of the things some of these are just quick answers um also we are called to exhort our brothers and chastise them how is how is this even possible if they have different doctrine first off you guys if you talk about gms or some of these camps they don't exhort a brother they only exhort brothers that they look at as brothers that's a part of their camp because really that goes for the nation of israel you know so that so the bigger picture is it's not about a camp it's about a nation right now let's keep going besides what makes someone a brother is it not the doctrine? No, you can't pull up nowhere in the Bible where it says someone is your brother based on doctrine. No, you, he, you're, they're your brother based on a bloodline. You know, we're, we're the Hebrew Israelites through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you come from Jacob, you are brothers. Whether, you, whether your name is Judas, whether you are a wicked or one of the wicked kings, they are our brothers, and we got to keep the law, statutes, commandments. Just because if somebody's wicked and they go off keeping the law, statutes, commandments, it does not give us the ability now to sin against the Lord just because they're sinning. Two wrongs don't make a right. I know you. I know y'all heard that before, but I want to pull a couple of precepts and then get into some more of this. So there are there are brother, whether they're wicked or righteous, they are our brother in the physical form if they're an Israelite, right? And um, whoever, what did the Lord say? Who is my brother? Who is my mother? Those that do the will of my father, right? And what is the will of our, the will of the father? Well, one of the wills of the father is, is for us to come together. I mean, wrong or right. In Ezekiel 37, is it prophesying that the Lord is going to bring us together as one? Wrong or right? So if that's the Lord's goal and the Lord is the light and he's coming to assemble us together, shouldn't we be rehearsing the righteous acts? Is he saying come together just as a camp? No, come together as a people. That's why we're still in the same position we're in right now. Now, this is Revelation 14, verse 12. So let's get some precepts. It says, here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have faith in Yahweh Shai. So that's your requirements to get salvation, not believe in the same doctrine, not Everybody got to teach the same doctrine. It makes no sense. If you if you agree that you're going to have elect men from all walks of life and you're going to have the elect that's going to come out of all different type of camps, well, wouldn't they have different doctrines if they're coming out those camps? Right? So if you got elect men that's going to be saved from RULC, you got elect men that's saved from GMS, they got two different doctrines. At least that's what they say. They got two different doctrines, right? So that means that, guess what? Salvation ain't based. Now, you can say, well, after they get saved, but... Before they get saved, before when the Lord's choosing who he's going to save and he's choosing the IUIC member and he's choosing the GMS member, that means they're not being saved based on doctrine because they got two different doctrines. So what are they being saved on, man? On The Lord going to choose who he wants to choose, right? You could know, you could have 100% doctrine down pat and the Lord cannot choose you as the elect. Facts. You could, you could not even read the whole Bible and the Lord do choose you to be the elect. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Let's deal with facts and not deal with feelings, man. This is all feeling shit. Who is my brother? Brother based on my feelings. No, let's deal with the fact. The person, your brother, if they're a Hebrew Israelite. See, y'all don't want to deal with facts. Y'all want to deal with the feelings and the assumptions. But um, let's go. So, yeah, back in Revelation 14, verse 12, it says, Here are those that keep the commandments of God and have faith in Yahweh Shai. So this is the revealing. It revealed who got salvation. It was the ones that kept the commandments and had faith. It didn't say the ones that had 100% doctrine and taught exactly what GMS taught. That's all stuff that's being added, right? Let's jump to Revelation 22, right? Um, and we already brung this out with um, them taking away from the um, from the word and and adding to the word, right? But I want to get a different precept. This is Revelation 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. 
He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. You know, so the Lord wasn't about, like, let's just say with Judas, right? Now, the Lord could have came out and said, hey, rebuke him and move him and, and remove him from around us. We don't want him. He's a traitor. I already know he's going to be a traitor. Rebuke him. He's an agent. We want the bam. Get him away from us. Kick him out the camp. But the Lord wasn't about that. He let it happen. He he. The Lord could have stopped it. He knew before anybody. He let he let Judas betray him. He let it happen because the Lord wasn't worried about that. We not supposed to be worried about agents and kicking brothers out the camp. No, the, you got to put that stuff in the Lord's um hands. The Lord's gonna remove who He wants to remove. He's gonna kick out who He wants to kick out. He's gonna get rid of who He wants to get rid of. So yes, brothers could come together with different doctrine because guess what? The cream always gonna rise to the top. The Lord is gonna be in control of what stays and what don't. So what y'all, what GMS is scared of is they're scared of coming together, and the Lord getting rid of some of the bullshit that they be teaching, and and then and then they then they being exposed. That they don't have 100 truth so of course it's easy for me to say i got 100 truth but never prove it. it's easy for me to say i'm the best boxer in the world but never prove it it's easy for me to say i'm the best football player in the world but when i'm called out oh, i don't play football you see what i'm saying so we we see right through the bs but this is something important i want to get in the book of matthews to kind of break it down so you can see it you ain't gonna hear it from our own words but hopefully you can hear it responding back to this brother you can hear it um when it's coming out the bible Hopefully, because some of y'all can't even do that, right? Um, <clears throat> let me see. Let me see. Matthews. I mean, look right here in Matthews twenty six. Talk about Peter being offended. Be man, come on, man. Um, but I want to get straight to the point, right? But let me read some more of this. It says, <clears throat> "Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, should enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven." Right. Um, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you depart from me who um, you who practice lawlessness, you who practice lawlessness. So I will say most of the brothers in most of the camps, they practice that you got to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your abilities. Right. So we could come together based on that. But the thing is, is you're going to have brothers that that thought they had 100 percent truth and thought they was keeping the law and thought they was teaching the law. But they're not. Because, look, if you a GMS member, right, and you got hatred against your brother and you holding grudges, right, like some of the elders, they holding grudges from from one West. Oh, like, he did this. They talking about these old stories. He did this in one West. He ain't never been writing in it. You holding grudges. You still bringing up what it says in the um. In the book of Job, um, I forgot where it's at, like Job 4 or something like that, or Job 11, one of those, where it says, look, when you sin, you're supposed to repent, and then it's like it's like water that passes over or passes away. It's, it's gone after that. You don't bring it back up, keep putting it in their brother's face, none of that. It's over with once he repents, right? You let the Lord deal with it, but y'all holding grudges. So y'all saying that you got to keep the law, statute, commandments, but y'all going to be guilty of not keeping a lot of those law, statute, commandments. Maybe y'all got to reread them or something like that, right? So th those are going to be the ones that's going to be saying, look, look, we was out there on the highways and byways. We was casting out demons in your name, Lord. And the Lord going to say, look, man, I never knew you because it's not about that. Now, are we commanded to go on the highways and byways? Yes. But that's not what gets you salvation. We just read what gets you salvation. Keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability and having faith. And you're not going to be 100% because the elect is going to be found with iniquity. That's why the elect is going to be passed under the rod, which is they're going to be chastised and correct by the Lord. Right. But our thing is, is we have to come together first and then the Lord is going to lead us into the wilderness. And then there the Lord is going to correct us. The same exact thing that happened in um, Egypt with, with Moses and the Israelites. Right. Now, let's keep going. Believe, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. But it, but you missing the point, right? It says, try the spirit, whether they are of God. So what does that mean? Right. It's, it's, it's of God. Is, are you saying that that's the same thing as GMS doctrine that determines if you're if the spirit is of God or not? You see, that's the bullshit, because you saying that that's added because it don't say that in the Bible. If, if you are of God, and that goes back to Revelation 14, 12, having faith in his son, like he said, right? And keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, like he said, to the best of your abilities. That's if the spirits of God. Ain't nobody telling you, oh, we just going to come together just with, 
you know, just um anybody out there, like, you know, just any any wicked motherfuckers like we gonna come they they having a, a gay parade and we yeah, we coming together with them we not saying that we, y'all know what we saying we saying the israelites that's in this truth we have to start coming together we supposed to assemble ourselves together right so now let's keep going this is matthews let me see if he got any more here before i pull this one up <clears throat> You can't just accept anyone who's saying um brother and wearing fringes. I agree. You can't just accept anyone just because they're part of they they are part of the same camp and go by the same camp name as you wearing fringes either. See, you don't want to talk about the other side. We are called to be circumspect, right? Yeah, we are called to be circumspect. Based on what though? Based on the walking in the ways that the Lord walked in, right? It says Yahweh Shai isn't just going to accept anyone, and we are called to examine and use and use discernment too, right? But who is Yahweh Shai going to accept? Right? A lot of brothers that y'all kicked out y'all camp, the Lord might accept them. And a lot of brothers that y'all got in y'all camp that y'all hold in high regards, the Lord not going to accept them. So y'all you got to deal with that, man. Right? So that's why it's not our... Look, listen to what you said. The Lord is not going to accept. It's not our place to try to play the accept game or not, if we going to accept them or not. No, we let the Lord accept them. Our whole thing is just to go out on the highways and byways, not put a brand... Where did the Lord say... Put a brand on yourself. Go out there and get a group and then get a brand and get a title and then start going by that branding name. The Lord didn't say that. We are Hebrew Israelites. We supposed to go out and teach that. Now, when you coming up saying, oh, this is IUIC or we GMS, you, you're teaching more than just what's in this Bible now. Now you're teaching them about a brand named GMS. Oh, I heard GMS. I heard GMS this and GMS that and GMS this. And then I heard um, IUIC this and IUIC. You introducing something to them that's not of the Lord. Because the name IUIC and, and being branded by the name IUIC, that's not in the Bible. The Lord didn't tell us to do that. The name GMS, right? When they watch the videos and they got to see this branding name before every video, the Lord didn't tell us to do that. So you you adding something now. The Lord didn't tell us to do that. Why not? Why, why just not follow exactly what the Lord told us to do? Yeah, because the branding shit, come on, it gives power to these men. Right. And um, the man that owns the brand that came up with the brand. That's why that's why, like, you know, who's the owner of the brand It's the people that can't be kicked out the camp. Now, you, your ass that's sitting on the on the side of a highways or byways out there teaching, you could be kicked out the camp. But there's certain people that's a part of the camp that cannot be kicked out. That's the owners of the brand. This ain't about that. But see, the difference is, it's like. You can't say nothing to them. You got to be respectful of persons. You can't rebuke them when we clearly seen examples of their leaders going off. But you can't say nothing because they own that brand and they could kick you out and you afraid of getting kicked out. This is no different than a church. No different than a Christian church. But the difference is we drop the brands and we just go by Hebrew Israelites. The Lord owns that. You see what I'm saying? Then the cream can rise to the top. So what y'all trying to do is just control a way to get your leaders that you believe in to be at the top and be those men in a controlled way. You know, and, and, and people, I not get it, you know. <clears throat> Let's keep going. So I said, look, man, Matthews 9 and 17, neither do men um, put new wine into old bottles. These, these guys are the old bottles. The Lord could come with a new spirit, man, a spirit of unity, of unity camps. But you can't put that new, that new spirit into these old bottles because they still stuck on the One West shit. And One West came to an end because corruption. They All they doing is the same thing they learned from the One West teachers. They doing the exact same thing. They just twisted up the doctrine a little bit, changed their doctrine a little bit, and then said, okay, now come under me, GMS, and they doing the same exact setup that One West was doing. And the thing about it is, it's hypocritical, because you say, well, somebody can't come change the doctrine from us, because we got 100% truth, but your elders changed the doctrine from their elders. They not speak, speaking the same exact thing that their elders taught them. But then y'all turn around and say, well, we're the house of David because Masha was King David in the spirit. But y'all teach, y'all changed the doctrine up from what King, um, what uh, Masha was teaching. So which one is it, man? I could see if your elders were still speaking and teaching the same exact doctrine that they elders was, they wasn't. So they the only ones that could change the doctrine up. And then, and then the door got closed after them and that they got 100% truth and that's it. Come on, man. You can't see through the bullshit. Hey, whoever this brother is, hey, get out. Wake up and get out. It, like, it takes you some time to grow to be able to understand it. But it's right in front of your face, man. 
just ask yourself those questions. Like, it don't make no sense. If y'all saying, y'all going to the Bible and proving it, right? And saying, look, you can't change up the doctrine. If you do, you're going off. We got 100% true. Well, wasn't that the same for your elders? Or that, or that wasn't true for your elders. It's just true for us today. Because they 100% changed the doctrine that they elders used to teach. They elders would say that they were going off and that they were wicked. That's what they elders would say today. Because they changed the doctrine. So that's hypocritical, man. Stop the bullshit. Let's keep going. And I said, you just can't accept everyone based on doctrine either. Like, and I gave him an example. Just like Judas was a traitor teaching the same doctrine. Judas was one of the um, disciples. He was teaching doctrine, but he was a traitor. You see what I'm saying? He says, you have to go um, on, on the spirit, not camp name. You got to go based off. If you accept somebody as a brother, it's not based on a camp name where he got to join the camp. Nigga be faking all day and do everything right to um, get accepted into the camp. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You got to go off the spirit. I didn't see. I didn't been to a, GM, a GMS camp, and I'd have seen dudes standing up there like zombies. I'd have seen dudes that uh, one dude tried to um, talk to me about wearing a garment with fringes on. He didn't even know that that was an Israelite thing. He really thought it was a, a just their camp thing. He didn't even know. Don't. No, that's just for Israel. Period. He had to be corrected on that. And I'm supposed to give authority to this dude. And he didn't even know something that simple that I knew. You see what I'm saying? But he was over me and had authority because he was just at the camp longer. That shit sounds stupid, bro. Um, says, um, I didn't say camp names. I said doctrine. And one shouldn't blindly follow any camp, but must be fully convinced in their own mind. No, you should be fully convinced in your own mind about the Lord, man. Not about no camp. When it says be fully convinced in your own mind, it, it, it doesn't say about a camp teaching or doctrine. Y'all twisting the scriptures, man. I'm so happy the Lord has opened my mind to be able to see through it because I was stuck in this um, just like this um, one time too. Being like the church of Berea that looked into the things to see if um, things are true. Look, the church of Berea? No, look, we just want to be the body of Yahweh Shai. What about that? Just just be a part of the body of Yahweh Shai, which is not just one camp, right? Um, so we gonna look into th look into if things are true. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Here, here, here. See, this is the bullshit. So let's take that. Let's be like the Church of Berea, right? And let's look into things and see if things are true. Okay, show me the um, show me the um, the scripture, um, the verse in the Bible that says you have to make a YouTube. We we finna be like the Church of Berea. We finna look through the Bible and we finna see where it says where the Lord commanded us to get on YouTube. We finna be like the church of Berea. We finna, we finna see where did the Lord say you have to put up YouTube videos. Let's be like the church of Berea. Okay, and then when we find out that we don't have to do that, then let's ask ourselves then why then, then why are we doing it or why are we being condemned if we don't do it or why are we being hold, hold at a certain standard? If brothers want to do it, they can do it because where there's no law, there's no sin, so they can make YouTube videos. But why is this being held over, brothers, though? Right? If we gonna be like the church of Berea, like, come on, are we going to be like the church for you? Where did the Lord say you're going to be saved based on the doctrine? If we going to be like the church of Berea, right? Yeah, y'all don't want to deal with that. Come on, man. Stop the bullshit. <clears throat> I said we should follow Yahweh Shire and walk in the ways he walked. Did he go around calling himself GMS? No. But it's not just for GMS, for all the camps. We don't need to brand ourselves. That brand shit is a way to divide yourself and that's conquer and that's that's literally dividing and conquer us. We doing it to ourselves, right? So the Lord if the Lord did if if the Lord is the light and we supposed to be aspiring to be just like the Lord to the best of our abilities, he's the perfect example, the lamb unblemished, right? Why are we walking around calling ourselves by these brand names that the Lord didn't call himself by? The Lord didn't call himself a Christian, the Lord didn't call himself a Catholic, and it's the same thing for brothers and the truth. He didn't call himself GMS. He didn't call himself Sakari. He didn't call himself IUIC. So why are we doing it? You see, you see the bullshit there. <laughs> but let's keep going though. Said no, he didn't. So that's the that's the Church of Berea for your ass, right? It says, was he for the nation coming together um, as one under the law? Yes, because that's what the Lord is going to come back and do. So he's one hundred percent for us coming together. When you talk about brothers, that's in the truth. If you take every brother that's in the truth, right? Let's just take the brothers that go on the, go out on the highways and byways or ever been on the highways and byways. Bro, you don't even make up like 10% of the Israelites that's going to be saved. 
Do you understand how many Israelites that is going to be saved? Just if we go off the one third doctrine, do you understand what one third, how, how many one third adds up to of Israelites in America? Do you know what that's millions of Israelites? Stop y'all bullshit, man. <laughs> and, and we, and we supposed to come together based off doctrine. How, when you got millions of Israelites that's going to be saved? Come on, man. It says, so I said, where does it say the Lord is only going to gather those that teach the same doctrine word for word? There will be elect from all camps with pro which prove salvation is not based on doctrine. Exactly. In Ezekiel eleven seventeen. 17, therefore say, thus say the Lord, God, I will gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. That should say, I will gather you from among the people, the ones that teach the same doctrine as GMS and assemble you. It don't say that, man. The Lord going to come gather. He going to gather who he wants to gather. Who he you got you got brothers that the Lord gonna gather that's gonna be um rich that's gonna be musicians you got brothers that the Lord is gonna gather that's gonna be poor be broke you got brothers that the Lord gonna gather that's never been a part of a camp in their life you got brothers that the Lord gonna gather that has never had a YouTube in their life that's facts facts over feelings Matthew's twenty five <clears throat> verse thirty one. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide of his sheep from the goat. So this is just proving that even more that this is about nationhood, man. The Lord ain't coming for no individual. It's not about individuals and it's not about individual camps. It's not about little small tiny groups of 2,000 members, bruh. Y'all got to stop that shit, man. This is what's keeping us down. Your little small group of 800 members of 1,000 members, that's not a lot of men. When, you, when we talking about millions, when we talking about a nation, y'all thinking so small, you got to see the bigger picture, man. The Lord is dealing with nations. We have to come together as a nation. The law, statutes, commandments teaches us and governs us on being together as a nation. What do you think the laws is about? Do not kill. Do not steal. You can't do none of that from the Lord. So what is it talking about? Do not kill your brother. Do not steal from your brother. Do not commit adultery against your brother. Do not bear false witness against your brother. These are all law statutes commandments, the um, clean laws, the dietary laws. These are all law statutes commandments on how we deal with each other as a nation, not as a group GMS, not as a individual, but how we deal with each other as a nation. We not for um individuals. We not, we, we saying, and we not saying that we're against camps. We're for one camp, and that one camp is the body of Yahweh Shai. That one camp is the 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 body, like I said, yeah, the body of Yahweh Shai, and we will say Hebrew Israelites. That's the one camp nation, Hebrew Israelites. We're not for that. Any, any, money, ABC boys, DFG boys, FLG boys, HLG. I see the same thing over and over again, man. I sit back and I watch and I study and I analyze. Here come another group. And they out on the highways and byways and they got their fringes on. They promoting. They trying to get people to come in. They branding. They got to get a brand name with a title, the ABC boys. And then they got to start promoting that and pushing that. Then they putting out the ABC mixtape. Then they putting out the ABC t-shirt line, the ABC book. Now they getting money off the congregation. They say, they got the truth. I go to a uh, GMS page. They, they got a whole bunch of followers on the on a comment board. Yapa lesson. Oh, that was great. That was a great lesson. I I go to Sakura. They got the same thing. I go to IRC. They comment board look the same thing. These new motherfuckers that just started. They 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 comment boards look like the same thing. Everybody, but they all point the finger saying they going off. No, they going off. No, they going off. No, they going off. No, they going off. Right. Which means that none of that shit means anything, man. But let's keep going. Right? Um, and before him shall he gather all nations, and he shall separate one from another, and, and, and the shepherd divideth his sheep from the goat. So, yeah, you you let the sheep roam with the goat. The Lord is going to be the one to separate, not for us. We we not going to be the ones to separate because we can't see like that. The Lord can see like that. We got to just focus on doing what the Lord told us to do, come together. And then from when we come together, the Lord going to separate who he want to separate. He going to separate the goats. Just like in Ezekiel 20, the Lord going to purge out the rebels. But we got to focus on what the Lord told us to come together first. Keep the law of sexual commandments to the best of our ability. Then the Lord, then let the Lord. You see, this is a problem. Y'all want to put all the power in y'all hand. Start just putting some of the power. Let the Lord do some things, man. It says, and he shall set the, set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left hand. Then shall the king say unto them, 
on the right hand, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you and from the foundation of the world. That's what it is. For when I was hunger, ye gave me meat. And when I was thirsty, ye gave me drink. I was a stranger and ye took me in, man. That's just believing in the Lord to the best of your ability and keeping these law statutes commandments to the best of your ability. You could be a good brother to 2,000 members all day. But are you a good brother to the rest of Israel, to the rest of your brothers? You see what I'm saying? You could say, well, I only look at people that's a part of my camp as my brothers. But did the Lord say that's what it is? We talking about the church of Britain. Did the Lord say that only people a part of your camp is your brothers? Or did he say the nation, is, it, is this about the children of Israel, the whole nation? If they are Israelite and they got Israelite blood running through them, they are my brother. Whether they wicked, whether they in the truth or not, we are brothers. But what did the Lord say? Who is my brother? In the spirit, that's physical. That's that's based off blood and flesh. But the Lord said, who is my brother? Those that do the will of my father. Then we got to ask ourselves, well, doing the will of the father, was the will of the father ever um to join a group and, and call yourself GMS? Was that ever the will of the father? That's not the will of the father. I never heard that being a part of the will of the father. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point, man. So, um... <sighs> You put the ceiling. If you when you say you got one hundred percent truth, that means you can't grow no more. That's a stumbling block. That's a ceiling that you putting over yourself. <clears throat> that means you can't change the doctrine. They they was able to change the doctrine from what they elders said, but now it just stopped growing with them. Now it can't be changed no more. That sounds like a man worshiping pyramid set up scheme. Oh well, well, well. This is the top apostle, and he's the top guy in the seat, right? But when is the next guy turn gonna be? When is the next guy gonna get his chance? When it when when are when are they gonna take the elder in um Chicago and that he's gonna be the top guy of the camp? Oh, uh, you wanna know what? That can't happen. You wanna know why? Because he don't own the branding of GMS. He don't own it. The the people who created it and started, those are the owners of GMS. Those are ones gonna always be in the power seat. It's just like a business. I'm in business, I know how business works. When is the next guy gonna step up to the sea? Okay, Pastor Hart, he reigned, he he was on top of everything. Okay, now the next guy finna step in and he's gonna be the, the, the top guy in reign and be on top. You'll never see it happening. It's just the same that's how you know it's man worshiping. <laughs> it's 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 just yeah, so when when the next guy gonna come? That's gonna be the head of it. Never gonna happen. And that's where the top, that's where the camp shit come in. It's just branding. That's all it is. You see, with every camp, they got their branding. They come in the truth, and they gotta start a name. And that's their branding. It's like a business, <clears throat> right? So the Lord is gonna separate. You know, we ain't worried about no fucking ages. Cause was the Lord worried about Judas? No. You see what I'm saying? You just let it happen, and you put it in the Lord's hand. And the Lord going to deal with it. That's why we could come together. You know, with that, salvation to the U.S. Shalom.